Hello everybody. Today I am going to explain you lesson Beeple and the Cooking Pot. And the characters of this play are Akbar, Beeple, Courtiers, Washerman, Washerman's Wife, Drummer, Messenger, Child, People. Scene 1. It is morning and the view is of a palace balcony overlooking a river. Akbar and Birbal are walking up and down the balcony. So it is morning time and the view is of a balcony of the palace and from there anybody could see the river. And Akbar and Birbal are walking up and down the balcony. So they are talking with each other. Akbar says, Birbal, I have heard that the water in this river is very cold. Is it true? Birbal. Yes, Your Majesty. Akbar. If a man stood in this water for one whole night, would he die? Birbal. Certainly, Your Majesty. No ordinary man could survive this cold. Akbar. Thoughtfully stroking his chin. Hmm. Well, here is my chance to test the strength of the common man in my kingdom. Birbal. Listen. The emperor whispers into Birbal's ear. Birbal shows surprise, then notes. Now, it is the morning time and Akbar and Birbal are walking up and down the balcony and they are talking with each other. Akbar says to Birbal that he has heard that the water of the river is very cold. Is it true? Birbal said, yes, your majesty, it is true that the water of this river is too chilled. Now Akbar again asks him, if a man stood in this water for one full night, would he die? Birbal tells him, yes, your majesty, he will certainly die. The water is so chilled. Now Akbar thoughtfully stroking his chin. Hmm. Well, now Akbar had an idea in his mind and he tells Birbal, that uh, it is the right time that I can test the strength of the common man in my kingdom. So I have an idea in my mind. He tells the idea in people's ears and people shows surprise and he then notes. Notes means say yes to the king of them. So the meaning of courtiers is people who advise a king in his court. Earlier times when it was the time of kings, the king used to have so many courtiers in his court who used to give the king advice. So Birbal was one of the courtier, a uh, minister of Akbar and he was very wise and uh, you must have heard so many stories of Birbal and Akbar. So now here scene one ends, scene two starts. In the afternoon, in a busy part of the town, a drummer beats his drum loudly and people gather round him. So, long, long ago, when uh, there were no other source of uh, giving messages to the people, uh, there, there used to be a drummer. He used to go on the busiest part of the town and uh, the drummer used to beat his drum loudly and people started gathering around him. They came to know that uh, the uh, drummer used to give some message, uh, needs, uh, wants to give some message to the public. And so people gathered around him. So next day in the afternoon, um, the drummer beats the drum loudly and people again gather around him in order to listen to the message of the emperor, drummer. Loudly, listen, listen, the great emperor Akbar's reward. Anyone who can stand for one night in the river near the palace will be richly rewarded. On the payments, people stop and talk excitedly. Impossible. Who will do it? Shall we try? Too risky, a poor washerman whispers to his wife. Now, the drummer said loudly, uh, listen, listen, the great emperor, Akbar's reward. He, so he is telling the people 
that great emperor Akbar, he wants to give reward to a person um, who will stand for one full night in the cold water of the river near the palace. So that person will be richly rewarded by Emperor Akbar. So all the people who were standing on the pavements, pavements means footpaths. So all the people who were standing near the, on the pavements, they were talking excitedly. They said, it's really impossible. The water of the river is so chilled, it's so cold that whosoever will stand in the water for full night, he will certainly die. So it is impossible to accept the challenge, to fulfill the challenge. So one poor washerman was also standing over there. He whispers to his wife, Washerman, this is a good chance. If I get this reward, we can live well. Wife, no, I don't want that. You will freeze to death and I will be left alone to cry. Washerman, don't worry. Nothing will happen to me. After all, I wash clothes in the cold water of the river every day. So one washerman and his wife were, were also standing there. And when the washerman heard the challenge given by the emperor, uh, he whispered to his wife that uh, we, should, uh, we should take the benefit. We should ne not leave the, this opportunity. And uh, if, we will, uh, if I will win the challenge, so I will be richly rewarded by the king and uh, we will live happily thereafter. But the wife said, no, I don't want that. The water is so chilled. You will freeze in that water and you will not come out of it. You may die and I will remain alone. You will leave me alone to cry. I don't, I won't let you go and accept this challenge. Washerman said, no, don't worry. Nothing will happen to me because I wash the clothes every day in this chilled water. I am in the habit of putting my hands in such chilled water. So there is nothing to worry. Scene 3. It is night and the washerman is standing in the middle of the river. The reflection of lights from the palace can be seen in the water. Some people come and look at him, shake their heads and go away. Some people say, one man, poor man, he will die before the night is out. Second man, a foolish thing to do. Well, let us pray for him. Now, scene three is of the night time. The washerman has accepted the challenge of the, uh, of the king, of Emperor Akbar. So it is night time and the washerman is standing in the middle of the river and the water is so chilled and the reflection of the lights from the palace, they are falling on the water. So some people come, they look at him, shake their heads, oh sorry, they are feeling sorry for the washerman and then go away. And some people, they are talking with each other. One man said, oh poor man, he will die before the night is out. Means they are so worried. They said, no, he will not survive. The water is so chilled, he will die before the night is out, before the night is over. The second man said, such a foolish thing he has done. He should not have accepted the challenge. So, well, what we can do? We can only pray for him. So, now this is scene four. The next morning, the washerman, alive and well, walks out of the river. People, shouting and clapping with joy. Thank God he is alive. Lucky man to get the reward. Wife greets her husband with relief. Oh, I was so worried about you. Child, father, you are so brave. Will the emperor reward you now? Washerman, yes, of course. Didn't I pass the test? So this is scene four. The next morning, the washerman was alive and well. He had survived, he had won the challenge and he walks out of the river. Many people are standing near the river because they were waiting for the morning and they wanted to see whether the farmer would come out alive or he will die. 
so when people saw that the washerman came out of the river safely and uh, all of them were shouting and clapping with joy and they were saying thank god that the washerman is is alive he's a lucky man now he will get reward from the um king he will get reward from emperor akbar and wife wife was so relieved she greets her husband and she said oh i was so worried about you thank god you have uh, survived and child when he looked his father and he said father you are so brave he was also very happy so he asked his father will the emperor give you reward now and the washerman said yes of course i have cleared the test i have passed the test now that uh, emperor will definitely give me reward scene 5 at the court emperor akbar is seated on his throne and birbal is near him the courtiers and the guards are in place the washerman enters with his family and goes before akbar akbar we are very happy with you young man you have proved your strength come take your reward a man enters with a silver tray full of coins as akbar is about to give the coins to the washerman a courtier your majesty this man does not deserve the reward now scene 5 is there it is the scene of the court at the court at emperor akbar is seated on his throne throne is the special seat made for kings and emperors so emperor akbar is seated on his throne and birbal his minister is standing near him all the courtiers and the guards are sitting on their places and the washerman he enters with his wife and family into the court and he goes before the emperor so now akbar says we are very happy with you akbar tells him that he is very happy and uh, that he has proved his strength so he tells the washerman to come and take the reward now the man on the other side he enters with a silver tray and that silver tray is full of coins now the akbar has to give that silver tray full of coins to the washerman as soon as he was going to give the silver tray to the washerman one courtier interrupted and says your majesty this man does not deserve the reward you should not give this reward to this man so you can see the picture washerman his son and wife are there this is emperor akbar for the water was not really cold you see the lights from your palace kept it warm akbar thoughtfully hmm you do have a point well if that is so then there is no question of a reward the washerman goes away sadly with his family the jealous courtier smiles wickedly birbal looks very upset and angry so as the king was going to give reward to the washerman one courtier interrupted him saying that the washerman does not deserve this reward why because he told uh, the king that water was not really cold the lights that were coming from the palace they kept the water warm <clears throat> then akbar thought fully he said hmm you have a point of course the lights have some warmth and the light from the palace they would have given the warmth to water so okay the washerman doesn't deserve the reward after hearing this the washerman and his wife they felt very sad and they goes back to their home and the jealous courtier the courtier was actually jealous of that washerman that how can he win the challenge how can the emperor give him so much reward so he was very jealous so that is why he made one excuse and he tried that the emperor should not give him the reward to the washerman so he was successful and a cunning smile came into his uh, um face 
and Birbal, who was standing near the king, the emperor, and the that jealous courtier, he was looking at the cunning smile of that jealous courtier. And now the Birbal, he looks very upset and angry at that jealous courtier. <coughs> Scene six. The next day at Akbar's court, Birbal's seat is empty. Akbar. This is the first time Birbal is late for the court. Messenger, go and find out the reason for his absence. The messenger bows and goes away. He returns in a while. Messenger, your majesty, the, the minister is in his house. He says he is cooking his food and it will take a long time to do so. Akbar, angrily, what nonsense. How can food take so long to cook? I shall go and see for myself. The emperor gets up and walks quickly, followed by some courtiers and guards. So scene 6, again it is of court, Akbar's court. Next day at Akbar's court, Birbal's seat is empty. Birbal has not come to the court and Akbar says that this is the first time that Birbal is late. Where is he? His seat is empty. He orders his messenger to go to Akbar's, uh, to go to Birbal's house and find out the reason why he is late, why he has not turned up to the court. Now the messenger goes and goes away and he returns in a while and tells Akbar that uh, the minister, the minister means the Birbal in his house and Birbal says he has given the message that he is cooking his food and it will take a long time to cook food. And when uh, Emperor Akbar hears this, that uh, it will take a long time to cook the food. He says angrily, what nonsense. How the food can take so much uh, long time to cook. He says, I'll go to his uh, house and I'll uh, see what's the reason behind it. So he gets up from his throne and uh, starts going to uh, the house of Birbal along with some of his courtiers and guards. Scene 7. Birbal is sitting near a fire on the ground. Far above it, on a branch of a tree, is a cooking pot. As the emperor approaches, Birbal rises and calls to him. Akbar. Birbal, what a foolish thing to do. How can this fire warm your cooking pot? Birbal, with a twinkle in his eyes. In the same way, your majesty, as the lights from your palace had made the water of the river warm, Akbar laughs as he understands what Birbal is trying to say. Now scene 7 is uh, at the house of Birbal. So Birbal is sitting near a fire on the ground and far above it on a branch of a tree is a cooking pot. So when emperor enters Birbal's house, he sees that Birbal is sitting on the ground and near the fire. But whereas he sees that the cooking pot is kept far away on one of the branch of the tree. So Akbar said, Birbal, are you foolish? What foolish things are you doing? Your, the fire is on the ground and the cooking pot is far away on one of the branch of a tree. How would the food be cooked as the fire is on the ground and cooking pot is far away. So at home also, dear children, you must have seen that when your mom is cooking food, the container is kept on the gas stove. Only then the food is cooked. It, it is not like this that uh, the container is on the dining table and gas is in the kitchen. So how would the food be cooked? No, na. So in the same way, so the emperor was uh, telling Birbal that the fire is on the ground and you have kept the cooking pot on one of the branch of a tree. How would you cook the food? The cooking pot must be near the fire. So Birbal, he had twinkles in his eyes. He says in the same way, your majesty, like the, the light of the palace, if they they can make the water of the river warm. Then how can the fire that is on the ground, how cannot they cook the food? 
that is uh, cooking that is in the cooking pot that is kept on the branch of a tree so akbar laughs and he understands and he said people i have understood what you are trying to give the message i was wrong um, the lights of the palace cannot warm the water of the river i have understood what you are trying to say so now <clears throat> let us move to the palace scene 8 the next day the washerman and his family are present at akbar's court akbar's akbar hands the tray of coins to birbal who gives it to the washerman people cheer and clap the washerman smiles and bows before the emperor so now the emperor had understood that he had done mistake the previous day and now he said uh, the birbal had proved that the light of the palace cannot warm the water of the river so next day the washerman and his family were called at uh, akbar's place and now they are present at akbar's court akbar hands the tray of coins to birbal so that he can give it to the washerman people all over who were present in the court they cheer and clap for the washerman and the washerman was very happy he smiles and bows before the emperor so this is the uh, story of akbar and birbal wise birbal how he always tried to prove how he always proved in front of uh, akbar that he was so wise so i hope all of you would have enjoyed the story and uh, have would have understood also very well now do read the lesson and uh, um, in my next video i'm going to explain all the exercises back exercises and question answers of this lesson do watch the next video also thank you so much and i'll be soon back with the back exercises and question answers of this lesson in my next video have a great time bye bye